Hey guys, hello. This is me, Triple Two Tarot. Welcome on my channel. It's been a long time. I'm doing a pick a card reading. So yeah, today a topic of pick a card reading is, as you can see, this couple card. Yeah, there's you are right. There's a guess. Yes, there's a guess. Guess what it is. So this is talking about love here, obviously. Uh, this talk about your next relationship. Okay, who are you going to date next? Who are you going to incommit? committed relationship next whatever you are looking for like marriage material you can say that this is your marriage partner because if you really wanna you know this depend on your next relationship that you're looking for you are looking for a date you're looking for a committed partner you're looking for a relationship you're looking for marriage whoever you are asking for the questions and uh, that you are that you have in your mind the answers is here okay so yeah this is definitely talking about your next relationship your next uh, uh, love, romance, divine counterpart, whoever this person is, who is coming towards you, who are you going to meet someone next? Um, maybe this is your ex, who knows, but this is talking about who is you're going to date next, who is this person, um, who are you going to be in relationship, you are going to marry, you are going to be with, you know, in romance. This is a romantic relationship, let me tell you. So yeah, there's a six files in front of you, okay? Um, six groups here so and you can see the couple's cards on it so choose intuitively whatever the pile or couple is attracting you or you know and you can choose your pile keep in mind this is a general reading obviously we have to say it because i'm reading for a lot of lot of thousands of peoples so if this is not your story obviously this not this is impossible that this can resonate with you maybe this is not your reading so yeah you can also come to me for personal if you want to check out the description for all the price and personal uh, you can contact me on my email address uh, please give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel if it resonates with you this will support and help my channel to grow up and i will keep bringing these readings for all of you okay so yeah there's a six piles one two three four five six so choose intuitively whatever the pile or number is calling you or card is calling you and i am starting the reading right now yes Hello, group number one, pile number one. Let's find out the people who choose this card. Let's see who are you going to date next? Who is your next romantic partner? So this is message here. My beloved, through my uh, thought, we may be physically apart. Spiritually, we are always united for love, transcendent space and time. Nothing is missing. Okay, so this is a message from this person. Let's find out the mood about this person. So this is a Mermaid Oracle's card, number 25. Could be significant for you. The silky and her skin. Reclaiming your authenticity. City. I love this card, the pictures. This is my new arrivals. From this we have hopeful. Then we have no. Okay. We have the runner. That's why. Looks like X is coming back. <laughs> if you don't like it, please go back to the another reading. We have South Node. We have Tenth House. And then we have Aries. So someone has could be uh, South Node in the Tenth House or I mean maybe in Aries, significant for you. Let's check out. We have Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, more Earth energy here. We have the Knave of Chalices, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Two of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of earth energy here, and we have water too. Then we have King of Chalices, yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Those, there could be age difference I'm picking up here. So whoever this person is, some of you, I felt that you know this person already. Like this is the, ner the runner, you know, who is keep running away from you, and this person maybe said no to you, okay? And, uh, and maybe you you just uh, running toward this person and this person you keep chasing this person and this person is keep saying no uh, whatever the case is okay but this is someone that you never been in relationship like this was just a situation ship for i'm picking up for some of you this is like hopeful connection whoever this person is coming and if you stopped running and chasing toward this person i feel that this person is really hopeful now because i'm seeing the planting the seed so this person is really hopeful to come towards you so maybe, yeah, that's what the reading was saying, my beloved. Like this person loves you, but they're running away from maybe from their feelings, their emotions. And maybe that's why you're physically apart, but spiritually you're connecting. So this is some type of a situation going on, some type of um, complicated relationship or situation you can say that. 
this card is telling you that reclaiming your authenticity yeah maybe this person is now reclaiming um their their feelings their true feelings for you but they they did not in the past they were running you know and now they were there the runner is back are coming hopeful for you uh, we have the south node yeah i feel that this is a karma this is your karmic relationship to be honest really strongly with the south node here your karmic relationship this is uh this is like you you know this person and we have you dealt with this person you know this person whoever this person is this is like reconsider you have to think about it when this person come back again or maybe you're reconsidering but there's a definitely you maybe exile maybe you you have been worried about it because this person was not there and um you are you're having a trouble with this person some type of trouble obviously because it's it's, it's like a waiting game is here we have the 10th house this talk about capricorn saturn so this is definitely heavy karma here you have to deal with this maybe you have been in relationship or uh, situation with this person for a long time and never dated or never been in relationship but now because you're going to date next with this person we have the aries here so maybe this person is Aries ruled by Mars. So yeah, I feel that you're going to date next and then you will strongly, there is a passion here. There's a desire here to be with each other. So maybe this person is struggling for money or financials. Maybe that's why. We have Knight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is taking too much time to come towards you very slow. And maybe you are tired of waiting, 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 and you don't know when this person will come. Two of Pentacles, you really want equal give and take with this person. Maybe this was a sexual connection, not love, not emotional. But I feel with this energy now, because this is like going to date next, we have Knight of Cups and King of Cups. Maybe this person was immature before, because we have the Knave and then we have this um, King. So maybe this person is matured now. When you left them, when you stopped running, you know, toward this person. So, or maybe you're still running, then I would definitely suggest you stop running. G give this person a time and space to grow up in a king, okay? So, yeah, I feel this person really want to express their loves, their emotions, their feelings. They were immature before, I strongly feel here. But now with the king here, they're ready to offer you. They're ready to embrace you, this love. Your, your, wait, your wait is over, okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I'm picking up here from you guys. You already know this person. You know this person, and whoever this person is coming, you have a karmic nod with this person. Like, you, this person is meant to be in your life. You have to deal with this. Yes. And this is like a success here. 10,000 definitely talk about success, achievement. People will know it. People will see it. This could be a business partner. Or maybe you will work together, you know, with this pentacles here. There's something coming in reality, obviously. And authenticity, um, there's something authentic, authentic self, sorry. So, yeah, this person is finally embracing their authentic feelings. They were not, they were immature, I feel here, to be honest. And now this is like equal give and take with the two of pentacles. Maybe this person is juggling, like they have to be with you or not, but they will choose you, obviously, because this is your next relationship. So before it was no, before, maybe from your side, it was no, because they were immature. But now, whoever this person is coming, they're offering you something serious and they're becoming king. Okay, they're offering you something serious. And this is a, your karmic relationship. This is like mean to be in your life and you're learning and you will learn a lot of things together, okay? So I, f I strongly feel like this, this relationship was now, never rooted in the reality, but now it's coming. And if you never dated anyone and you don't know who I'm talking about, this could be someone new is coming in your life, okay? And you have to deal with this. You have to meet this person and learn a lot of things. Maybe there is a difference, okay? Maybe you meet this person through your work, through your business. There's something here that you have to deal with, South Node deal with this person okay so yeah this is um option number one pile number one i really hope it resonated see you later in the next video bye hello group number two pile number two the people who choose this card let's see what is here we have friendships nature nurture the bounds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so maybe your friends or maybe you will be friends first or maybe your friends are introducing this person who knows let's see so this is the mermaid oracles card new arrival let's see we have number 34, Yimaya, Grandmother, Ocean, Primordial. Oh, wow. Mm, let's see. We have Inspired. Then we have Resistant. We have the Butterfly, Transformation. So, yeah, we have the Sixth House, Virgo, maybe. We have Sagittarius. Maybe you are the couple of Virgo and Sagittarius. Or we have Venus, yeah, Taurus or Libra. Maybe your Venus in sixth house. 
so maybe you can meet this person through work through some charity work or spirituality service you know and sagittarius maybe when you're traveling this is some spiritual person who's coming towards you you have a spiritual connection with this person let me tell you two of wands so aries leo sagittarius death scorpio um i'm not reading reversals we have the hangman pisces we have the lovers gemini Ooh, we have four of wands 11 11 twin flame soulmate lover whatever you want to call spiritual connection strongly i did not say it 11 11 because when i get this one one because i already was feeling it this is a spiritual connection because the venus presence here and then sixth house this is service this is something and with jemaya look at this this motherhood you know this moment uh, being mother and child so maybe there's a age difference yeah, this is a really strong connection here. Maybe you're already a mother, single mom, okay, watching this video. This is this is your soulmate. This is your twin. If you already know this person, because we have here, uh, maybe your friends, okay, maybe your relationship is becoming, in, you know, you, like you're starting as a friends again, you're talking to each other again, and they're telling you that nurture the bond of friendship. Like, try to understand each other, try to embrace each other, try to be, uh, maybe this person has a lot of, uh, you know, tattoos on their skin. Sometimes, uh, you know, like a tattoo of a mother or something, or butterfly. Maybe this, and the skull on there, um, there's something. We have Scorpio, we have Pisces. Maybe you are Pisces and Scorpio couple. Um, we have Taurus and Libra. We have Gemini. We have Sagittarius. We have Virgo. Okay, whoever this person is coming towards you, I feel that this is for wants. This is like whatever you have been waiting for for a long time. For stability, safety love protection and then we have the lovers wow the love of your life this is what you have been waiting for you know this is maybe you have been dealing with for a long time the death maybe you are separated from this person this is like a major transformation in the uh, like your relationship is moving toward um commitment or something you're uh, you know upgrading relationship is upgrading we have the butterfly and death the transformation i feel that you both are going through transformation healing separating yourself from the past releasing everything that is negative toxic you know um we have the lovers and we have the hangman some of you maybe you have been waiting for a long time for this love if you're single finally it's coming to a wants, maybe you're waiting some of you maybe you have a choices or your person has a choice and they will choose you don't worry they will choose you because we have four of wands the hangman you are the one for this person you are the divine feminine we have the venus the love the love is pure spiritual healing between you and this person cherish so yes sagittarius ruled by jupiter and we have venus wow this is your husband and wife connection you're going to marry with this person this is a marriage here for of wands also venus and jupiter obviously your husband or your wife a committed partner you can say that long-term commitment if you're not looking for marriage the love of your life your divine counterpart with the lovers and Venus here, sixth house. Maybe you meet this person through your work, service, serving other people's, maybe um, your daily work, your daily routine, or maybe this is like you're finally coming into union, you know, like in reality. But this is more likely maybe when you are traveling for your work, for new projects or business, because Sagittarius is talking about long journey, long travel, two of wands, maybe a foreigner far from you, long distance. And it, maybe it's a separation. It's like that's why you're separated right now. But you're coming together in union. The hangman is talk about, again, the hangman and butterfly transformation. Whoever this person is coming, this is your lover. This is the romance of your lifetime. This is the one that will be very adventurous, um, transform your life in a positive way, in a different way. You have been stuck for a long time. You have been hold for a long time. You have been in, in, in energies of, you know, resisting the love or you know maybe you you transformed fully maybe that's why you're meeting this person some of you this is like you releases released someone recently separated from yourself from someone and this is your true soulmate your true love is coming in your life okay there's a resistance here like from this person maybe or from your side at what at first when you will meet this person or right now if you know this person there's a resistance here inspired but this there's this connection is really inspiring this person could be a musician i feel that because this person is writing or could be a poetic you know love poetry 
music, artistic things, because we have Venus here. So they could be work in a uh, artistic field or something. We have this uh, mother and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the pictures here. So there is a definitely mother or child duo going on. Maybe this person is um, like older or younger than you. There's a there's a relationship is like mother and child you know like protection love pure love venus again mother so motherhood so maybe you will be this person will definitely if you will marry you will be you already a mother or you will be a mother with this person mother of the child of this person yes i'm seeing motherhood here to be honest venus is mother pregnancy friendship yeah, you, you guys are compatible. You guys are meant to be in each other's lives, lovers, four of wands. This is a higher level of soulmate, twin flame, our soulmate. Whatever you want to call, but this is spiritual. Venus presence here, spiritual. Very positive. Be optimistic, Sagittarius, Jupiter. Be optimistic about it. It's like your wish granted. It's coming, sixth house. Uh, service. So maybe you served a lot and finally you're getting the reward, you know. So yeah, transformation. Whoever this person is coming, it's, it's a gift for you. Very spiritual, very giving, very loving, very pure hearted person coming in your life. Artistic person, okay? Maybe they're resisting this person or maybe you will resist at first, but it's coming, okay? In union. So this is that person that you're going to date or in a relationship with. Some of you, you already know that. If you definitely, your soulmate or twin. Uh, for others of you, maybe you're going to meet this person because you're maybe friends first or worker first. Like because sex house, maybe working together or business or serving together and going to meet this person. Boom. Yes, because this is like a romance of a lifetime. You have to meet this person, obviously. Okay, so yeah, this is your reading. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. See you next in, in the next video. Bye. Hello, pile number three, group number three. The people who choose this card, let's find out. We have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one internal soul. For there you will find true bliss. Okay, so there is a sexual union coming. Or you will have a greatest sexual chemistry with each other. Or maybe uh, you are already in a sexual connection with this person. Mermaid oracles. This is a new arrival I'm using. Pay attention to the numbers. 24. Soul gauge. Cage. Rescue. Escape from captivity and restriction. Okay. So maybe we have unsure. Hmm. We have overwhelmed. We have palm tree. Stability. Security. Yeah. We have Eight of Swords, Air Sign. I'm not reading the Vessels, Nine of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Devil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Capricorn, Sun, Leo, Ten of Swords. Let's see, what is this? We have Eleventh House, Aquarius. Oh, wow. We have Aquarius. So, wow. Eleventh House and Aquarius. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We have Mars. So, maybe Aries or Scorpio. So someone has Mars in the 11th house. Someone has Mars in the Aquarius. Maybe you're dealing with this or you already know that. Okay. So I feel that you, some of you, maybe you already know this person because we have the devil. Then we have sexual energy, like unsure. So this connection is just based on the sexual connection and you wanted something more from this person maybe. You know, very really, really sexual attractions here, physically attraction here. But you want something more like security or safety or stability. And you're really overwhelmed, you know. With this all things going on right now. And maybe this is uh, because we have the devil and the sun. I feel that there's a hope in this connection. If you already know this person. If this was a based on only sexual connection. So maybe you're done with this person. Ten of swords like no I don't want this. Because I want something serious. I want stability. Mars again. This is again Scorp Aries and Scorpio. This is a Mars like really dominant energy. Really sexual attraction. Passion. So there was a lot of sex. Sex, 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 sex sexting going on. A lot of sex talk maybe. And you wanted something more maybe. So nine of cups, yeah, this is like a wish come true with this person. You you don't want to leave this person, but at the same time, this was a soul cage for you because this was only uh, a sexual connection. And then we have eight of swords here. You're stuck. Eight of swords in this connection. You felt like, no, you can't leave this person because you are attracted. Your your souls are bound. So this, this sexual attraction is very strong. Ten of swords. Maybe you're done with this person or ten, the sun. Some of you, maybe, my, maybe you have sexual addiction or this person has... And they're leaving this behind and coming into like healing. They're leaving something behind. If you don't know who this person is. But I'm seeing Aquarius. This is like a very freedom lover. Very not non-committal person. That's why. 
and with the 11th house it's like you maybe your friend in friend zone or something maybe someone foreigner 11th house also talk about your wish come true this is like a very humanitarian person very passionate person very loving but non-committal i feel here very visionary person the devil maybe this person has yeah sexual addiction or some type of obsession like sex um maybe with other people's that's why you left this person palm tree you want something secure and see fear i feel this person is coming whoever this person is maybe you dealt with this person already because of this this was a, only a sexual connection now this is coming more again this will be a sexual union obviously but some of you maybe this person has scorpio venus i'm seeing scorpio moon something with the scorpio here mars here also scorpio energy here there mars in scorpio maybe there's something very driven by sex S something driven by the you know passionate sex this person really obsessed with sex or they were maybe in the past but now maybe they are coming into clarity they don't want it you know maybe you have a child with this person because we have this because of this sexual connection you have a child and you really want security now something serious and you're really overwhelmed by this and you're really unsure what should what should you do you should give this person a chance or not whoever this person is coming they, they you have maybe this sexual union and connection with this person but now i'm picking up whoever this person is um if you don't know who is this person uh maybe you have some sexual addictions or obsession and now maybe you're changing this habit and this changing addiction and obsession you're coming you're healing yourself and you're going to meet someone new that will give you this grounding energy this stability this security and maybe you are really overwhelmed right now you will be overwhelmed because you're going to meet someone you have been in a cage for a long time finally you're unsure which way, which way to go and which way to not but whoever this person is coming you will have a strong and great chemistry with sexually desiring to be with each other and this person really admire and very honor sexual um thing okay they really there's a they feel like the sexual connection should be the first priority of this person like maybe this person has this um you know they process they process themselves or they process the connections or relationship through sexual union the understanding of sexual bond like they connecting with the you know they really they're really sexual they're driven by sexuality they're driven by their sex desires their needs the obsessions maybe maybe it's extreme and obsession for some of you but now they're maybe changing they're changing this behavior and they're they're controlling this thing maybe they were not committed but now they are maybe 11th house this is your wish granted nine of cups definitely you have wish uh, you have to be wishing to be with this person desiring to be with this person uh, nine of cups is your wish come coming true to be honest Whoever this person is, eight of swords. Maybe you are stuck, and ten of swords. Maybe stuck. You see, like there is no one for you. You will not, you will not have this happiness. But it's coming. The masculine is coming. Whoever this person is, this is a masculine energy coming. Mars is also masculine. The devil is a masculine. So masculine energy is very strong. Maybe you both are masculines, same gender, sex. You know. So yeah. The sun, the clarity is coming, the truth is coming, happiness is coming, the stability is coming. You will be overwhelmed by this when this person is coming or maybe you will be unsure. But whoever this is coming, this is like a very passionate, driven by love, um, passion, desire, needs, obsessions, you know, sex addictions or something. I also feel like this is your wish come true, to be honest. You will be happy, Nine of Cups. You will be like, oh my God, I'm happy. 11th house, your wish come true. Aquarius, very humanitarian, very adventurous, very loving. Friendship, you will have a great friendship with this person. Maybe you already know this person. Maybe you're friends of benefits because you're, you're helping each other <laughs> sexually. or I don't know. Unsure, yeah. There are some ways that you will be unsure, like should you accept this person or not. But I feel that whoever this person is coming, they really want to be with you. Okay? There is a, some security and safety here in the future. It's coming. Happiness, desire. Maybe the father of your child is coming with the sun energy. If you have a child, maybe that's why you are stuck and this person is coming. But yeah, whoever this person is coming, you will be feeling very overwhelmed, uh, overwhelmed and unsure about it. But you need to make a decision. Yeah, like, like really, sexual desire, physical attraction on the peak. Like 10 out of 10. Very strong bond maybe your friends already you know this person already i feel that you know this person already maybe you were in a sexual connection but now it's coming into clarity uh, maybe you're discussing you're you're finally discussing what you have to do okay so yeah this is your reading give the thumbs up subscribe my channel see you later in the next video bye hello group number four pile number four the people who choose this card let's see who is coming to watch on love your next relationship 
when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love okay so yes let's see what is happening here we have number 28 um century privacy innovate personal space respected boundaries and taboos oh my god what is this let's see we have regretful we have proud hmm i see healthy choices um we have i'm not reading the reversals today we have strength leo we have knight of wands more fire leo sagittarius aries we have ace of swords gemini libra aquarius six of pentacles earth sign the empress Ooh la 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 divine feminine taurus or libra we have the ninth house we have sun and we have libra so maybe your ninth house is sun or your sun in libra or uh, you can say that your libra in ninth house sun in ninth house sun in libra or maybe venus in ninth house i'm also picking up here okay so whoever this person is coming towards you this person maybe you know that they are regretful that they did not choose you this is a taboo type of connection maybe this is like you are the third person maybe they're already married but they see you this empress here the empress sometime came up as a mistress so with the taboo in here i'm picking up because my mind is going on taboos boundaries respected boundaries and taboos so the empress so maybe this person really want to make you I don't want to say that mistress but it's like this person is definitely can't resist you whoever this person is maybe they are married maybe they are with someone else they are in a relationship but they they want you to they want they maybe they want to they want to keep their cake and also want to eat it too that's what i'm picking up here this is that type of person they're regretful maybe for some reasons my maybe um that because they did not this was not a healthy choices maybe you stopped talking to this person maybe you are in separation but this person was really proud to have you or want to have you and might want to proud to have you because they feel like you are the one they're really attractive to you really really this is some type of taboos also like uh, when when there's a out of religion or out of culture maybe very religious connection or you know very strict you know boundaries of religions families this could be a taboo in that way too does not have to be we have the strength here desire to be like a beat beat you know like oh yeah that's why the movie i'm getting here is the definitely beauty and the beast you know that this is a different someone is human the other person is beast so this is that type of energy i'm picking up here very strange or very complicated and very that type of connection taboo type of connection for people for society not for both of you this person is desiring to be with you and keeping an eye on you i feel here strength yeah they're really courageous they really want to talk to you neighbor wants definitely desiring to be with you sexual attraction physical attraction is driving this person crazy when they will meet you or maybe you already know this person like they're holding back their feelings it's a source this is like something new that is coming or this person want to express it i feel that communication this person is making a move towards you because you are the empress this person is coming towards you so I'm getting this horse like <laughs> horse ride. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Some dirty stuff is coming in my mind. This person want to ride on you. Because we have the empress. Want to get you pregnant. And then say, oh my god, I'm proud that you're being mother of my child. Healthy choices. Yeah, I feel that you need to make a healthy choices. You want a healthy choices. This is up to you if you will accept this person or not. But this is that person who is really want to be with you. His or swords want to communicate, want to express it. Six of pentacles. This person may be a lot of money, very spiritual, very um, abundant. And they really want to give you money, a lot of money, uh, gifts, expensive gifts or things. They will shower you with the gifts. They will, they will um, decorate you with your jewels, jewelry, expensive gifts and, you know, buying you a lot of things, charity work. This person has a lot of money. If you're willing to do that, it's up to you because I feel this person has a lot of money. And they want to give you this. 
really. They want to share with you a lot of things. Ninth house, this is um, Sagittarius ruled by. So yeah, they could be a non-committal. That's why they just want to just 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 want to have you. I'm picking up from this energy. They want to have you. So that's why, oh my God, that's why the card was saying, when it's come to matters of the heart, there's no wrong or right. Yeah, for this person is not right and not wrong. They love you. Whoever this person is, like expanding understanding of love and life. This person don't see any problem here. This person's like, no, this is, yeah, I love you. I have feelings for you. I like you. That's it. F the world. You know, we have the ninth house. So maybe this person live far from you, long journey. They really want to travel towards you to see you or want to meet you or, you know, put you in the, you know, like, let's meet up, you know, booking the resorts and booking the trips together want to go out with you want to know you more closely this person is really adventurous they love these adventures and they got your ad they already got their adventure on you like you are the adventure for this person and they really want to get you because i feel that their eyes are fixed on you you are what they want this is what this person is saying like i want you that's it i like you does not matter if they are already in relationship or married or this is a taboo for society Peoples, they just want to. Ninth house, spiritual. Sun, this is like a happiness. This is like masculine energy. They really want you because you make them happy. Or you will make them happy. We have Libra. And they could be Libra, Leo, or Sagittarius. Libra is talk about balance. Libra is talk about, you know, ruled by Venus. Obviously, we have Venus. So they really want balance. Or really want to balance things out if you know this person already. They're coming for reconciliation, maybe, with the Six of Pentacles and the Empress. You may be the Divine Feminine of this person. They're coming to get you. They don't care. They're really, uh, maybe, you, uh, you, maybe you are regretful or they are regretful that they did not choose you or something. Now they're coming for reconciliation or choosing your balance of scales, maybe, whoever this person is. Maybe this is someone new that you're meeting, going to meet this person through your work, some charity, some, some type of taboo relationship, and you will be like, no, I can't. But you need to make a healthy choice here. Okay, you are the empress here. You are the empress. You know that. You have choices, maybe. You have peoples, and you can choose whatever you want to choose. The sun, you're a spiritual person. And you have to make a choice here that is make you happy. And you really make this person happy. This person see the sun and light and spiritual things. I feel this person needs you because you're spiritual. Uh, you, you are very peaceful, you are spiritual, and this person really need it. They are non-committal. They, they could be a player because we have nine of wands. But you, you have something that this person needs you. You can ground them. You can give them this happiness they are, they are looking for, okay? So that's your reading. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. See you next in the video. Bye. Hello, group number five. The people who choose this card, let's see who is romance. Cupid, Zero, Christ. So yeah, definitely romance is coming in your life. There's a romantic relationship, obviously, we are talking about here. We have number 32. Seashell divination, wisdom of shells, concho menesi. Yeah, look at this, all these pearls. Beautiful, wow. We have the excited. Yeah, this is a romance here, empowered. I feel that you guys are divine feminines. Um, or you are divine masculine whatever but you're really in your power you're really glowing and this person is coming we have not today yeah uh, some of you maybe you know you know this person we have the hermit where go five of wands a fire sign uh, two of cups pisces cancer scorpio ten of pentacles earth energy the world could be a capricorn could be um taurus scorpio leo aquarius we have third house, Gemini, Virgo. We already have two, double Virgo. We have Pluto, maybe Scorpio. Um, not really powerful. Okay, so whoever this person is coming, I feel that you will be really, this person is empowered, really powerful. We have third house, we have the world. This person could be worldwide famous or an internet famous person social media famous person um youtuber blogger or something or maybe this person uh, you know their work is uh, related with the uh, business like worldwide or they they have to travel one place to another place maybe you're gonna meet this person through that i'm seeing ten of pentacles this person has a lot of money they could have a, this um family inheritance maybe a lot of money they have a house they have a family they have everything that they are you are looking for pluto very powerful people could be a public spe speaker authority figure 
boss business entrepreneur okay they have their own business virgo yeah they the virgo is talk, definitely ruled by mercury and also this is the sixth house so and um, double virgo so this person charity a lot they have been single for a long time whoever this person is they have been single for a long time i feel you both are single for a long time that's why it's came up the hermit and you know virgo twice five of wands there's a struggle here to fall in love to be in love Two of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is like a union is coming between you and this person. Some of you, maybe you already know this person. You have been separated. You have been doing your own work. You have been putting your time on the business, your study, your work. Third house talking about maybe communication is coming. Pluto, powerful change. This union is coming. The world is definitely talking about in Two of Cups, your soulmate. This is your soulmate. You mean to be together. That's why it's here, romance. Maybe you already know that person. Maybe you not. But this is like someone who's really powerful, very, very beautiful, spiritual. And I feel that excited and empowered. You both are empowered. Again, the world here. Maybe you both live from far from each other. Maybe you met each other online. Empowered. Yeah, this person is really powerful, very strong, very uh, and excited. When you will meet this person, or uh, maybe you are trapped. Maybe you planned a trip to meet each other, you know. And you will be really excited. Oh, wow, we are planning the trip. We are meeting there. This type of thing I'm in mean, here. Or maybe you're really excited about your business or project and boom, you're going to meet this person there. Not today. Not dealing, hard avoiding us. Maybe right now, maybe you're in separation, I, as I told already. Like you have romantic feelings, but you both are not in um, together, separation because of this, you know, the d distance maybe or separation. Or this could be talking about uh, you have a fight with this person. Pluto talk about power. This could be a power struggle. Maybe you both are controlling. Maybe you want the thing like, hey, I want this, I want this. So there will be some power struggle, but don't worry. You will overcome through that. Two of cups. So definitely it's a, it's a soulmate connection. You love each other. You will love each other. Some of you I'm picking up, you, have, you both have been single for a long time. It's been a long time that you're coming together. You're meeting your true soulmate, your lover. Okay. For others of you, this is like you have been in separation with this person. There's something did not work and you, you just, you know, make the path to focus on yourself, you know, working on your money, your, your, your success. And now you become a, coming together after this fight or separation. Yeah, I'm seeing two things here in this connection. But there is a romance here. Don't worry. It's coming. Romance is coming. You're coming into union of this love. There will be resistance maybe from first, maybe from your side, or maybe right now this person is resisting this love or union, but I feel that you are coming together. There's a cycle here, completion here, becoming free, independent. Ten of Pentacles, maybe two of Cups and Ten of Pentacles becoming union, like committed, married, maybe getting married, who knows, right? But there's excitement here, empowered here, finally getting what you want. So love is coming, romance is coming. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number six, the people who choose this pile. Let's see. We have power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay. So whoever this connection is coming towards you because we have the snakes too. So you have the power to say no or to yes to this person, whoever this person is coming towards you. Let's see. We have number seven, freedom, independence, self-determination. So maybe a fire sign, a Scorpio maybe coming towards you. We have desperate. We have in inadequate okay we have the chaser oh, okay so maybe you know this person we have queen of wands fire sign Aries, leo sagittarius we have four of swords air sign six of swords more air knight of cups pisces cancer scorpio strength leo we have eighth house scorpio i was talking about right eighth house we have gemini and we have the jupiter maybe jupiter in eighth house maybe jupiter in gemini Wow, Jupiter, okay, so 8th house, transformation, back and forth, you know this person. Some of you, you're le let me tell you, I'm picking up two things here. Some of you may be releasing someone, you're freeing yourself from relationships, okay? You stopped, you stopped, you're, you're in the healing process, Queen of Wands. This is like a rebirth of yours, strength, you're being patient with yourself and waiting for the right person with a Jupiter here. And you're going to meet this person, whoever this person is coming. Gemini ruled by definitely Mercury. Communication is coming. 
someone who's coming very talkative, very, uh, very loving, very caring, Knight of Cups, very romantic, Jupiter, being optimistic and being hopeful that you're waiting for the right person. Maybe you moved on from something that was not working for you. Maybe you moved on from this person, you stopped chasing and now this person want to chase you. So yeah, I feel here. For others of you, I feel that this is someone that you dealt with. You have been not in communication with. Obviously, the chaser is coming back. This person did not want you back, but you wanted this person for a long time. You really wanted this person, but this person did not value you. And you just free yourself from this person. You come in your power with the Queen of Wands, strength, you being patient. You hold back your feelings. Four of Swords, you healed yourself. Six of Swords, you moved on from this person maybe. And now with this Knight of Cups and the Chaser, this person really want to express their love. They really want to chase you. They're chasing you. And they're coming with the Eighth House. It's a rebirth here, reunion, rekindle, reconciliation. You can say that with this person. There is an age difference here. That's why the reading came up like power. You have a power now. You are empowered. You have power, power now to say this person no or yes. But you, at some point, you really wanted this person very badly, desperately. And now the table are turned because you free yourself. You, you, just free, you just make yourself freedom, free from this connection. And now this person is tired with you, desperately wanted to be with you because they love you. Now they realize that you are the one. So this person is coming to date you. Jupiter, maybe proposal with the Knight of Cups, maybe a proposal. You know, so this person was maybe holding back their feelings. We have infinity symbol. Definitely, this is soulmate. This is infinity. It's talk about something universe is bringing you guys together. There's a mean to be. We have Gemini. Definitely communication coming from this person. If this person was not talkative or they were not expressive, but they want to now, it house. It's a, it's a major transformation is coming. Table are turning now. I'm hearing. So some of you, maybe you moved on from this person and you will choose someone new. You don't want this person. This is a power is you. You have a power to say yes or no to, to this person. If you will say yes, definitely, there is a strong chance to be, you know, for future. Eighth house also talk about someone that you <laughs> passed. Obviously, this could be someone new after this major separation that you have recently done with someone from release someone. Maybe someone new is coming. Could be someone new that you're going to meet your Jupiter, your husband. If you're a female, your feminine energy. Jupiter is really being positive, ruled by Sagittarius. So maybe you're going to meet this person. We have Leo here. We have fire. We have water. A lot of fire and water combination and also air here. Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces. So there's a good thing. Change are coming for you. But you, you need to accept this. You, you will accept it or not. It's up to you. Okay. There's a major transformation here with this offer. If you'll accept it, there's also major transformation. But if you're not accepted, still, you're going to move towards something bigger. Something major transformation, huge transformation. Major change is coming. You can't accept, you can't uh, deny it. Yeah, this is definite. The power, you, ha you have a power now. You have a freedom. You can do it, whatever you want, okay? I'm talking about feminine here. You have a power on this person. You have a power on your relationship. You can choose. You can, you can be with anyone now. You can manifest anything now. That's what I'm picking up here. This is up to you. Okay, uh, I also feel like this will be very, you know, maybe someone far from you and they're coming for a dis there there's a distance here maybe. But whoever this person is coming, uh, this is like a major change, transformation here. After major transformation maybe coming or major transformation that you gone through, maybe this is up to you. Okay, so that's your readings. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. I will see you later in the next video. Bye.